Okay, so start with your right leg back. So I'm just using the mat just as a guide to where my lunge is going to be. Yeah, so if you take the arms up, just give yourself a balance. So you can do one lunge, and then you're going to lift back. Right, come with me. Lunge, lift back. Now get that lunge down. I'm going to do it at that speed. So you make sure that the weight comes centrally. And lift, right, so left knee. Stay bent. Get the back up, and lift. Right, don't throw that back leg, just squeeze it, take it up. And down, so actually, it's your supporting leg that you feel is doing a lot of the work. And lift, back up, down, and lift. Okay, and lift, keep going. Right, make sure that you keep your, whoops, back up, and lift. And don't fall over, in. Right, you eight more. Eight. Yes, if you need to overload the legs, the position is the thing that works. And lift. Abs in. Shoulders. Nice and square. Right, you've got four more. And four. And three. Okay, so then you're going to go straight into bottom half squat. So the feet are slightly outside your hips. And you're going to take the foot down to your knee. Right. Here. And down, halfway, down, halfway. Right, so push the weight back. We're going to toes the trainers and lift the chest. Yeah? So you're try and get the calves and the chin nice and straight. Bottom half. Crotch down to knees. Bottom half, halfway up. Keep going. Legs, glutes. Oh, back to the legs. Keep going. Eight, halfway, seven, halfway, six, halfway, five, keep going, feel up there, four, right, ready to take the left leg back, and lunge it, right, take your left leg back, and lunge, lunge, and lift, lunge, and lift, so, back knee, driving to the floor, so that back, that back thigh is flat, so you want to get a really decent lunge, and then tap it down. Press. Keep the right knee bent. And press it up. Chest lifts. And then up. How's that right leg feeling? You should be feeling all up the side of that leg. Drive it down. In. And lift. In. And lift. Keep going. Repetition, repetition. Abs in. Open up the collarbone. Now pick the body weight too far forward. Right, you've got those bottom half squats again. Eight. Seven. And lift. Pull the abs in. Belly button is fine. Are you stepping back? Are you stepping out? Right, you've got four. Four. And lift. Three. And lift. Right, two more. Last one. Go straight into a bottom half squat. Take the leg down now. Bottom half. Bottom half. Bottom half. We get to lie on the floor in the middle. Ooh. And down. And press. And press. And press. Oh my goodness. Down. Chest lift. Think about something else. Press. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Back up. Four. And three. And two. And one. Right. Right, come down. Left hand on the floor. Shin back. Now, make sure you're not doing that with your foot. Relax the foot and put the weight on the shin. Your hand is in line with your knee, and then lift that this hip. Yeah? Right, arm up. Now tap down, lift. And lift. And lift. Right, so you want to lift out of the shoulder, down. Just literally tap it to the floor. And lift. Right, try to think lifting out of this hip, so you're working the whole side of that leg. Repetition, 
Right, here we have in. I'm going to roll this left shoulder underneath you so you're nice and flat. And four. And three. And two. Yeah, you know it. Hold this one up, pulse it, and let your foot. Put the weight on that shin. Yeah, make sure it's not on the knee. Push and push. And here. And here. And push. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is just take that knee down and then kick it out. Take it down. Kick it out. One. In. Right now. Nothing in the hips. Yeah? Kick it out. Squeeze. Kick it out. And squeeze. Right, so round that now, you should be feeling it. Up the inside thigh on that left leg. And kick. And what's happening with that left shoulder? It's the abs and the back of that leg and that glute. 
that's giving you the strength to hold and push. Right, you're gonna lie down any second. And you're gonna take your legs wide. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Wait on chin. Three. Two. Last one. Right, lying down. Take the hands behind your thighs. Last leg exercise. Which segues into your abs. Roll down. Take the knees in. Right, take the legs up. They don't have to be straight. You're going to take them out to the side. Right? Now, pull the back to the floor. Relax your head. Hands can be palms up or palms down. It's entirely up to you. Nothing but the hands. Right, open up the legs. You go as far as your least flexible inside thigh will allow you. Now go halfway. Halfway up. And down. Halfway up down. Right, breathe out as they come up. Breathe in as you come down. Pull the abs to the lower back. So you've got a nice neutral spine. Right, so this is working the inside thighs. Make sure your toes are in line with your hips. They're not too far forward because that might strain your back. And they're not too far back because that will hurt your hips. And lift. And lift. Halfway. And open. Yeah, so you're not flinging them open. Yeah, so that's working the whole of the inside thigh, inside thigh. Breathe out. And out. And out. And out. Right, we've got eight more. Then we're going to carry on. And we're going to lift the torso into our abdominals. So put the head behind, hands behind your head. The thumbs down the back of the neck. Right now, come up halfway and go. Crunch. Open. Crunch. Right, so you've got legs and abs. Pull the lower back to the floor. Right, nothing happens in your elbows. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale. 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 Woo. Exhale. Open. Breathe. Oh, eight gravity, wonderful. And breathe out to the mouth. Just your nose. Blow it out to the mouth. Right, okay, next thing. You're going to keep the legs up halfway. And you're going to pulse the arms. Pulse the other back. Right, hold it here and pulse. Pulse, just hold the arms. Hold the legs, rather. Hold the legs. Yeah? That static movement still works your inside thighs. You've got to use your inside thighs to hold it there. And pulse. We have to lower back to spine. Go, keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep the legs there. And four. And three. And two. And one. Right, now legs slowly, slowly, slowly together. Hold the legs here. Right, hands can go underneath your pelvis. They can come outside with the palms on the floor. Outside with the palms on. Or if you want more, you come up into a crunch. So we're doing a D shape with the arc with the legs. Go above your hips. Yeah, we're going down, out, up. Right, the lower you get your legs, the more engaged your abdominals are going to be. But make sure there's nothing happening in the lower back. Circle, yeah? So we circle with both legs. Right, if you want more, you can stay in your upper back crunch. And open. Breathe out. Now make sure that lower back is nice and strong. If it starts to come off the floor, make sure your legs are just, just take the legs a bit higher. Great. And circle. Now, if you have got your head off the floor, what's happening with the neck? Make sure your eye gaze is to the corner of your room and not to your knees. Open up your elbows. And relax your head. And lift. And down. And lift. Keep going, keep going. Press down. Open, touch. Down. Open, touch. At any time, if you want to put their head on the floor, try not to stop. Four more. Lower. And three. Right, two more. Then you're going to have the knees in. Two. And lift. 
right, now you're allowed to put the head on the floor if it's on the... And hug your knees in, hug your knees in. Opposite, uh, opposite hand to knee. Then you're going to do obliques. So take that, take the legs over. Right. Your bottom should still be, your spine should still be in straight. Single crunches, right? You're going to realise that you can't come up as far because of the alignment of your spine. Thumbs down, back of neck. And lift, lift. And lift. Right, now, try not to do the crunch with your chin. Stay off the floor. Breathe out. Breathe out. So you're still doing a straight line, so your nose is still facing the ceiling. And lift. And crunch. Crunch. Right, pull the abs in, pull the abs in. Have a look down. What's happening with them? Right then. You set your head alignment. Thumbs down, back of neck. Shoulder blades off. Shoulder blades off. Breathe out. Right. Is your leg opening and closing? Try not to get it. Yeah? Just try and pin the knees together. And up. And up. Right, you've got eight more, then we're going to do reach pulses. That back arm reaching down to the toes. down, hold it here, and toss, go, toss, two, inside thighs together, heads in hands, yeah, kick straight out of the neck, put the weight of the head in the hand, yeah, we're almost working out that head, that hand, that arm, three, three, eight more before we change sides, eight, seven, lift, five, four, Right, now, to change. Arms up, knees together. Right, now, use your abs to get the knees up. Try not to push with this arm. Right, now, low, 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 low. Hands behind you, other side. Go now, go. Up and down, up and down. Lift. Okay, technique. Face between chin and chest. Elbows open. Eye gaze, corner. Try and get the well, shoulder blades off the floor and don't pull on your neck. Really feel, just relax your head. So the obliques of the waist muscles that are doing the work and not jutting the chin. Breathe out. Breathe out. How high can you go? Yeah? Press it up. Push it up. And up. Yeah, because your abs are really strong. Your waist muscles are really strong. Eight more, then you get the pulses. And lift. Are your knees together? And lift. Four more, then you've got your pulse. Four. Three. Two. Set your arm down. And go. Pulse it. Pulse. 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 Reach. Reach. I can feel it. Keep going. Keep going. And reach. Reach. Right, what's happening with the neck? Is that peach underneath your chin? Is it crushed? Reach and reach and reach. Keep with the pulses, just a few more. Head in hands. Keep going, just eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two. Right, roll it down. Take your hands above you. Knees together. Now try get the knees up. Yeah. Hands behind your head. Now push the knees away. C shape your spine, and we're going to do a double leg extension. If it is too much, either take the legs high, or if you want a little bit more, tap the toes to the floor. Yeah. So you're C shaping your spine. Your hands are behind your head. You're not going to pull on your neck, and you're taking upper and lower back on the floor. Tell me how Extend, crunch, or tap. Crunch, extend. Right, so when you're crunching, there's this real tendency to get the elbows in. Keep the elbows out. Breathe out. I'm getting extend. Over this. 
scrunch I lift. But you do not put your head on the floor in the middle. Oh, if you, you want slightly less, me. yeah, you can go and keep if the head on the floor and just do the be. reverse curl the lower back. Ooh, yeah, I entirely up to you. There's always options. What option is there not? Stop it! Ooh, and crunch. Extend. Keep going. Lift. Eight more. You can do eight more. Eight. And down. Seven. Elbows out. Exhale. Four more. Remember, toes to uh, ceiling, not swinging. Oh, last one, last one, last much. one. Mm, Extend. Knees in, hug the knees in. Hands behind your thighs. Breathe in and roll up. Right, so your front leg. Yeah, you're coming to your here. You're coming to your mermaid. So we're in our butt section. Hands in front of you. Knee Help in between your hands, yes? Yeah? So your knee is directly in between your breastplate. Try not to sink into this hip, yeah? Bend the elbow slightly. Leg is behind you. Heel is towards your hip. Lift that leg. Now lift it up. Just put it on the floor. And lift. And lower. And lift. Yeah, so the body weight is put forward. Yeah? Don't let the abs drop. Lift. Lift. Yes, yeah, so you're targeting that lower glute. And lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Add it in. Pull it add it in. Oh, bring, bring. Right, okay. So, you've got pulses in this position, and then you've got attitude pushbacks, yeah, which is where the toe that other wall. But eight more here. Help you know out. The Seven. Help me out. Six. Five. Help me out. Four. Ready for the pulses. How many should we do? Help me out. Ooh. Um. Pulse it up. Help Go. me out. Pulse. Two. So you're do pulsing it. literally about an Help inch. You out. think it's your thigh that's doing the pulses. Help me out. Right. Just done six Help me out. Let's do another 16. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Last eight. Eight straight into the pushback. Yeah, so four and three and two. Toe. Back. And back. And back. Yeah, so you want to think. You're not pushing it to the back of your room. You're trying to push it to the side. Yeah, so you want to try and tap the toe to the side. Push back. And tap. Side. Tap. Right, so you're not touching the floor. Not touching the floor. Now do it here. Yeah, so you're going to the side of your room. Side of room. Thigh stays off the floor, obviously. Yeah? Side of room. Back. And back. And back. Just eight more. Eight. Keep the knee bent. Seven. Six. Right, you're going to take this leg and you're going to stretch it over the front leg to release the glute. Four. Three. Two. Take it over. Take it over. Take it over here. Or take it to your knee or your shin. Yeah? Heel. Um, Butt cheek on the floor. Now release the back. So we're going to go to the other side. Yeah, just take all that lactic acid build up out. Reset. Other side. Heel into hip. Knee in between breastplate. Knee in between hands. Elbows down. Back up. Abs in. Four, three, two. Start there. Now lift and lower. Lift and lower. And lift. And lift. Woo. Lift. Try to lift out of that right hip joint. I know it's difficult because you're like, the body weight is over. 
Ande. 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 Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. This. Right, so you've got your pulses and then your pushbacks. One thing, a couple of things, which are nasty at the end. Push it up and up. This is easier. A joy. Up and up. Right, four more. Then you got your pulses. Four, three, thirty-two pulses. Have to make it even. Pulse it up. Go. Eight, seven, six, five. Pulse it up and in. Shoulders down. And eight, eight, seven. Nearly halfway. Four and three and two. Back up, breathe out, in. Four, last eight, last eight, and then do a push back. But it's not push back. And four and three and two. Close the opposite wall. Close the opposite wall. Yeah? In and here. And in. And in. Beautiful attitude. Beautiful attitude. And your legs aren't back either. Push back. Right, the hips body weight forward too much. It's just that leg that's moving. Push back. Push back. Push back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Lift, lift. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Take that leg over. Sit on that bottom bone. Oh, stretch those, stretch the legs. Right, we're gonna lie on this side. Right, lie down so you're on your right side. Forearm floor. Palm on floor, elbow underneath. Yeah, clam raises. Put your inside, put your um, sole of your foot on the inside of that leg and lift it up. Yeah? We're not going to come down. We're pulsing straight away. Lift up. Right, we have to do this side because it works this glute. You've just worked this glute up. Yeah, so you made sure that the glute you have just worked is on top. Lift. And lift. And lift, and lift, keep going, push it up, and up, and up. Yeah, so lifting out to the hips, feel that someone is actually just getting your hip bone and pulling it up, up, up. Weight through the shin, weight through the forearm, nothing in the shoulder, up, up, up. Right, you've got eight more, then we're going to come onto your forearms onto your back. Then we're going to go on the other side. And four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, come onto your back, and you're on your forearms. Knees are together. Now, knees are open. Soles the feet together. Push out to the shoulders. Make sure your upper arms are straight. Now we're going to come up. Here. Yeah. So you don't come up too far. Watch the ankles now. Pulse it up. And up. And up. It's hideous. 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 Yeah, so you're on your forearms now. So, unlike when we do it at other times, you've got your upper back and your shoulders taking the onus. Ah, not now. This is for your glutes. Lift it up. Up. Higher. Higher, higher. Watch the ankles, watch the ankles, hold the feet together. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down, knees together. Swing round, other side. Assume the position, straight into it. Push it up, up, up. Pulse it up, pulse it up. The cage lifted, straight. Nothing in that shoulder, up. Hand on hip. And up, and up, push it up, push it up, keep going, we've got eight, seven, 
that's what counts. It doesn't make any sense. Just do it until it does, until it hurts so much you can't do any more. Hip bone, palm flat on the floor. Weight through forearm, so it's not taking that weight in that shoulder and hip. Take it up, up. Right, you've got your last ones on your back. Keep going, right, we've got eight more here, eight more here, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Right, take it out. If you're finding it really hard and really tough on the shoulders, yeah, you can do your bridge with the legs open. Right, give it a go. Feet together. The tips open. Soles and feet together. Add it. And go. Cross it up. 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 Go higher, go higher, go higher. 16 more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 8 more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Down. Roll it down. Knees in. Knees in. Feet down. Cross front foot. Over back. Flex foot. Lift foot off floor. Lace hands. If you have to take your head off the floor, please put them back down. Push that knee away. Just yes, stretch your glutes. Stretch the glutes. Four, three, two. And change. Make sure the ankle crosses about two inches above your knee. And lift, lace the hands underneath that thigh. Don't strain the neck. Flex your foot for knee alignment. Now push the knee away. Yeah, feel that amazing glute stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Take one leg down and the other leg down. Take your hands to your heart centre. Stretch your glutes by pulling the abdominals in. Pulling the shoulders down. Fingertips away from toes. Right now, roll onto your right hand side. Come onto your stomach. Take the hands by the armpits and squeeze your elbows in. Let's send your feet away from you. Let's send the neck away from you. Breathe in and breathe out. Just lift up. Right, if you want to go further, lift up as much as you can. Now push forward. So this would be back flexibility, but it also helps stretching the abdominals. Four, three, two. Push up, child pose. Stretch your back. Take a breath in. Lunge your right leg through your hands. Yeah, so you're stretching the thighs. Lift up the knee if you want more. And push back. So you're stretching the inside thighs and all up the back of that leg. All the other work you did. Okay, change to your down dog. So that front leg comes through the down dog. Now press the hips high. You're feeling a stretch in the hamstring, stretch in the back. Press the heels down. Relax your head. Breathe in and breathe out. Press the chest to the floor. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Take your other leg through. Yeah, so the shin is straight. If you want to put the knee on the floor, relax that toe and lift out of your chest. Or hook the leg underneath you, press back. Yes, yeah, so you feel a stretch at the hip flexor. Right, stay here and just rotate. Put the other hand on the inside and rotate so you're in a wide leg, fold forward. Stretching your inside thighs, stretching your hamstrings. If you need to put hands on the shins, that's fine. Breathe. Heels in, roll up. One more stretch, inside thighs. Can you just work on your inside thighs? And four. Three, drop your chin to your chest. Now roll up slowly, slowly. Release the back. Four, three, two, and big breath. Big breath. Exhale. Thank you very much.